My name is Adesua and I'm 18 years old. My boyfriend also told me about family planning services he heard on the radio. <laughs> I love him, but I just started my national diploma course and he knows I can't afford to be pregnant now. <laughs> anyway, we've been discussing it and I'm finally here to get my family planning services. Hmm. It seems my next patient is just 18 years old, still in school and unmarried. I wonder why she would want family planning services. She should be focusing on her studies. Hmm. Children of nowadays. I also have an 18 year old daughter, but I would not be happy to hear that she's indulging in premarital relationships. It seems this girl will need some motherly advice. And that's why you're next. Good afternoon, Ma. I am Adeswa. You said I was next. Yes, my daughter. Good afternoon. You may have your seat. Thank you, Ma. Uh, Ma, the sign outside said family planning available here. I hope I'm in the right place. Yes, you are. And what brings you here today? <sighs> well, Ma, I want to do family planning. And they said on the radio that we should go to a place where we see family planning available here. But my daughter... I can see from your card here that you're just 18 years old and still a student. Yes, ma. Is that a problem, ma? And you are not married? No, ma. At least you're engaged, eh? No, ma. Sorry, ma. Excuse me. I, I don't understand. Do I have to be married to get family planning services? Look here, my dear. A young unmarried girl like you looking for family planning services. Is that good, eh? What would your parents say if they hear? You should be focusing on your studies, eh? Madam, I beg your pardon. I only came here for family planning implants and not for any other advice, please. Well, if you don't want to take my advice, a word is enough for the wise. Ma, I don't want to be rude. Please, if you can't help me, let me know so I can go somewhere else where they can. Well, these are the contraceptive pills. You'll take them daily. I would also advise you use the condoms since you are already engaging in casual sexual relationships. <laughs> Excuse me, ma. I don't engage in casual sexual relationships. And moreover, it's the implants I'm interested in. Although people say it causes cancer. Oh, so you have heard the implants cause cancer, eh? And you still want to use them at this your small age? Please, ma. Do the implants really cause cancer? If so, then why did they tell us on the radio that it's safe? Well, I didn't say it causes cancer. Don't go telling people I said so. <sighs> okay, can I use it then? Well, if that's what you want. Let me check the mech wheel to see if it's appropriate for you. Okay. I take a brief medical history and use the mech wheel to ascertain if the implant is an appropriate choice for the client. Well, if you want, you can use the implant. Although, if I were you, I would not. <sighs> eh? Okay, ma. If the implants are not good for me, then which one is good? I have given you condoms and pills. You said you don't want. My dear, 
What do you want me to say? I don't know what to do now, Ma. Okay. You know what? Why don't you go home and think about it? Mm -hmm. When you are ready, you can come back, okay? Yes, Ma. Thank you, Ma. Well, that's how it is with some clients sometimes. Especially the younger ones. They come in here thinking they know everything. Then become upset when you try to counsel them. Well, I know I have tried to counsel that girl as if she were my own daughter. Even if she refused to listen, I've done my best. If I had known I was just coming here to be judged and insulted, I would never have come. I'm never coming back. 